almost half of London's largest developments aren't meeting the affordable housing targets being set by local authorities. That's according to new figures from the Bureau of Investigative Journalism. The National Housing Federation says councils need to be tougher with developers, but home builders say they're already contributing plenty of new homes and infrastructure. Tara Welsh reports. We'll just start by having a look up at the living area upstairs. Ronelle is a nurse and she's moving into one of these flats in Pimlico, purposely built to be affordable. Now that means her rent will be about 30% lower than average prices in the area. It's really incredible and I still cannot believe how lucky I've been actually to be offered something like this because if it was not for the scheme I would not have been able to afford renting an apartment like this. A charity that aims to keep average earners living in central London built these homes. Now you've only got to look at the skyline to see how many developments are in progress. But because there is such a demand for homes like this, when a developer submits a plan, it has to commit to building a certain amount of affordable homes. OK, we're coming into Beaufort Park. That's what happened here in Collindale. This 3,000 home estate promised to include affordable homes, and it has, but 283 fewer than originally agreed. If you don't have the percentage of affordable homes that you need, people will have to move outside London and it will make it much more expensive for Londoners not only to, to live in London but to work in London. The council accepted the revision because the developer said building the homes wasn't financially viable and reflects changes to the housing market. By allowing this developer to drop the affordable homes, that would encourage other developers to put in plans saying offering lots of affordable homes and then actually revising the plans and offering fewer. That by and large has not happened and Barnish is not an easy, a pushover. It wasn't something that someone rings up and says, will you agree to this? This was a, a difficult negotiation. New research shows that six out of the 13 largest developments in the capital don't meet targets set by local authorities. It found that of more than 60,000 homes being built, about 25% were affordable. Council targets tend to be between about 35 and 40%. Targets are aspirational and they're not enforceable and it's all about negotiation between a council and a developer. So a local authority can approve plans with fewer homes than desired. If the developer promises to build schools or roads or something that the local authority thinks the community needs. Given the scale of the housing crisis, given the affordability issues, affordable housing should be the priority. Um, councils need to be clear about what is and what isn't an acceptable level of affordable housing. But house builders say there's only so much money, so it's up to councils to decide how it's spent. And it's them who need to prioritise to work out whether they would rather have affordable housing or infrastructure or other community benefits. You can't have everything. Councils say the shortage of affordable homes is a result of a lull in house building in general. But as waiting lists grow, aspirations of city living fade. Tara Welsh, BBC London News, 